गुड आफ्टरनून सर हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून वी शेल वेट फॉर फ्यू फ्यू मिनट्स ओके Shall we begin? Is my screen visible, everyone? Hello. 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 अंकुश एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो यस सर सर ऑडिबल ना ऑडिबल टू यू इज माय स्क्रीन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो टुडे आई एम एट माय होम एंड आई एम यूजिंग माय मोबाइल नेटवर्क so so uh, i don't know uh, how uh, how good it is it i don't know that so we are uh, okay so if it will not work properly uh, then what we'll do we will uh, use the same thing that other uh, others are using we will we will uh, be going uh, we, we will go to the whatsapp classes okay so uh, you will read lecture notes and ask your question in whatsapp if if it does not work well otherwise uh, we will be uh, meeting on uh, webex only okay so yesterday uh, i defined uh, i gave you a definition of basis in fact we saw two definitions correct so first definition was you have a set Yeah, S, which is subset of V, we say that sub subset S is basis of V. If if the vector in V can be expressed as a unique uh, linear combination of 
elements from the set S. And the second lesson was uh, S is if S is linearly independent and it spans V. And we saw these two dimensions are equivalent. So let's see some examples today. So examples. So say we are in R, R is a vector space over R. Okay, what, uh, so can anyone give me a basis for R? Please tell me a basis for R. Hello. Hello. Anurag. Hello, Anurag. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I, I, I asked something. I asked something. Something. Did you listen? Repeat, yes, sir. Uh, give a basis for the vector space R. One. Sir, okay. Some someone said so. Uh, if you don't know, it's okay. Whenever I ask something, please respond. Okay. Otherwise, uh, I I I will get a feeling that you are not listening. You are not there in the class. Okay. So whenever I say something, I ask something. Please respond. If you do not know, then say I do not know. Okay. I will tell you. Okay, so sir. since I have I have not uh, given you any example, so it is not your fault fault that you don't know, and it is uh, there is no same in saying that I don't know. Okay, so if you don't know, say I don't know, but please respond. Okay, so uh, someone correctly answered that uh, the set S, which is one is a basis of R. How? Any any element of R, any vector in R, you can write R as a linear combination of one, and it is unique. So what is that unique linear combination? That unique linear combination is R dot one. Okay? So therefore, S is, S is a basis. And the basis of R. Let's say another example. See another example. Say R2. R2 over R is a, a, a vector space. And let's take the standard basis. Say 1, 0, and 0, 1. So this is your S. This is a subset of R2. So if you see in figure geometrically what is this so this point is one zero and this point is zero one this is zero, zero one okay and you know if you choose any vector x comma y what you do you go x this side and then you go y in in, in that uh, direction, uh, vertical direction. So, so any x comma y can be written as x comma one comma zero plus y into zero comma one. Okay. So in this way, and and this uh, linear combination is unique. So, so for every 
x comma y in R2, we have this thing and this linear this this linear combination is unique for each x comma y therefore r2 is so therefore this the set s is a basis of r2 and we call it the standard basis okay this is called s is called the standard basis okay so we have to say we generalize this to rn so in rn so uh, this is the set s s is 1 0 0 n time then 0 at first place, 1 at second place, then 0, 0, 0 at other places. And the last one is 0, 0, 0, 1. So this is the subset of Rn. OK? These are total n, n coordinates, n. OK? Now, what we see, we choose any alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n in Rn and see that alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n can be written as a linear combination of these vectors from S. Okay. And this expression is unique. Therefore, uh, the set S which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and last one is 0, 0, 0, 1. It is a basis, and it is called the standard basis of Rn. Put another vector space, the vector space of square matrices, say M and cross N, okay, uh, we, we denoted it by, by M and R, this is the space of n cross n matrices, n cross n square matrices. Okay. Uh, with entries from R. So its entries uh, comes from its entry, all, all entries come from R. Okay. So, uh, so first take n equal to 2, uh, simplest case, sim sim not simplest, but simple case, simplest would be 1, n equal to 1. In that case, uh, say, say it is of this form, uh, alpha, and you know uh, this matrix 1 cross 1 where, where any non-zero, you can take any non-zero number, it would be a basis of this matrix. Okay, so take any equal to it is simpler case. Now uh, define S as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so these are square matrices, 2 cross 2 square matrices, and uh, if you Define A, B, C. If you if you take any element in M and R, any vector in M and R, uh, that is a, uh, M two R. Here we are taking n equal to two. So any matrix two cross two matrix A, B, C, D. So you can write it as A one zero 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 plus B zero one zero zero plus C zero one zero zero plus d 0 0 0 1 okay and this 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 linear combination is unique therefore s is uh, s is a basis okay of m and m m2r 
so when in, so when we take mnr in this case we define eij eij is the matrix that matrix whose entries are xij where xij is defined like this it is 0 when i not equal to j it is 1 when i equal to j okay this means of this form 0 uh, say say if e 1 1 this is 1 0 0 0 0 0 all others are 0 this is of this form uh, if say e 1 e 2 1 is uh, 0 0 this row 0 then 0 okay not the 1 then 0 And all entries are zero. Here you can correct. So EIJ say this is ith uh, ith row jth column. So this is g, uh, this is one, and every other are zero. Okay. So this set EIJ where i and j are in between 1 and n, this is the basis of m and r. And you know how. The same thing that we do, that we did for n equal to 2, the same thing will work here. OK? Now I have a question for you. Question. So we have seen that the space of polynomials, uh, okay, say P, say less than N, this is the space of polynomials, if PLY means P polynomial, uh, say in the variable X, variable X, and its degree is less than or equal to n union zero. This is the vector space. So what would be its its its, its basis? Give a basis p less than or equal to n. So any 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 guess? Hello. Yes, sir. Any guess for this, this question? No. Hello. Sir, yes, yes, sir. Sir, 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 x squared 2x to the power n x to the power n okay so you know any polynomial px which is of this form a naught plus a one x plus a n x square uh, a n x n is of this form okay. so so any polynomial of less than equal to one x x squared then x n correct if we replace this p n by p the space of all polynomial so now we are not uh, uh, not we are not saying that uh, deg uh, there is no restrictions on degree so its degree be can be arbitrary it is of arbitrary degree the space of all polynomials but it would be finite you know polynomials are of finite degree okay. there is no polynomial with infinite degree in that case we call them power series and then we talk about convergence of these power series so the space of all polynomials so what would be the uh, what would be the basis for p hmm? Then basis, any guess? 
ज्यादा नहीं है क्यों यहाँ पर एक्स टू दावर एन है इसको हटा दे मतलब इसमें वन एक्स एक्स स्क्वायर अप टू कोई मतलब एन सो ऑन है एन सो ओके सो एन विल गो टू इनफिनिटी ओके सो दिस इज द बेसिस वेरी गुड okay so so can you give me another basis for for say p less than equal to n any other basis do you all have seen uh, uh, taylor series expansion have you seen this in your analysis course hello yes sir okay can you recall that okay it's an exercise for you so read about taylor series and uh, using that or you may use other other thing as well and prove that 1 comma x minus a comma x minus a square comma so on x minus a to n is a basis of p less than equal to n okay and uh, you can do this by using taylor series of xn so do you all know what is the taylor series of uh, taylor series of xn at at, at point 1 uh, sorry at point a okay i'll tell you what is a taylor series for a function fx so a function which is n time differentiable say n plus 1 time differentiable here xn is infinitely many time differentiable uh, say it is n time differentiable then a taylor series of fx at so n time differentiable at the point a i'm saying okay so fx equal to fa Plus f dash a x minus a plus f double dash a by two factorial okay x minus a square and so on f n a by n factorial x minus a to the power n plus some uh, remainder term say r x a I am saying so it is a remainder term but uh, you you will not need this because. Uh, so you will not uh, you will not be using this because when you take fx equal to xn it is in fact the many time differentiable and in fact the nth derivative n plus 1 at derivative of of xn it will be zero so the remainder term you will get zero here okay so you can write xn as a to the power n plus plus n a to the power n minus 1 x minus a and so on n factorial by n factorial x minus a to the power n so you can write x n in this form okay so now you now you may see that you know that an x x square xn is a basis and you can write each xn in this form so you may 
Now replace X and by its Taylor series, and uh, you will get that one. So here it is one, one X minus A comma X minus A square up to X minus A to the power N is a basis of uh, this vector space of polynomials. Okay. Now, having said this, uh, let me define you. Let me define the finite dimensional vector spaces. Finite dimensional vector spaces. By definition, a vector space is finite dimensional if there exists a finite subset whose span is V. So V is finite dimensional dimensional if there exists a subset S of V S is such that number one is finite and second thing is linear span of s is v okay so do you all know what is a finite set s is finite s is a finite set what is a finite set say yes or no do you know it? Do you know this? Have you seen this finite set, infinite set, countable set, uncountable set? Have Sir, you seen it before? Hello. Ha, bo ha, Sir, finite set का मतलब उसमें number of elements जो हैं वो finite हों मतलब जैसे s को set है जिसका uh, अगर one से लेकर n तक हैं तो ये finite set है. अगर हम ये बोलें one, two, three and so on तो ये infinite set हो जाएगा. अच्छा आपने countable set and countable set finite set पढ़ा हुआ है पहले? सर पढ़ा है लेकिन ज़्यादा clarity नहीं है count ठीक है उसको countable set पढ़िए हम्म बोलिए बोलिए countable set सर अगर कोई set finite है या फिर denumerable set है तो उसे हम countable बोल देते हैं denumerable क्या होता है Sir, denumerable जब हम किसी set की natural number set से one one मतलब bijection रहती है one one onto mapping हम्म बहुत सही बहुत सही आप तुम्हारे आपने पढ़ा हुआ है so if there exists a one one correspondence between the set s and natural number or positive integers whatever you may say there if if there exists a one one correspondence between these two sets then we say uh, set is countable. Okay. So we say S is finite if there exists if if there exists in N. So here this represents 0, 1, 2, and so on. Set of natural numbers. Okay. Such that if there exists N and Okay, let me write it as it's finite if there exists this and function and a function f from s to n or s to to up to n okay mm -hmm. if there exists f from s to n uh, s to 1 0 to n which is 1 1 and on to okay if you have this then you say function is uh, so uh, the set s is finite and you know in this case the cardinality of s is n plus 1 so see here there are n plus 1 elements okay yeah. 
okay so so this was the uh, uh, definition of finite dimensional vector spaces if you have a finite set and it spans the whole um, whole vector space then you say vector space is finite dimensional correct let's see some theorem on it uh, okay so uh, some uh, so first some objects before this let's observe something if a vector space if a vector space has spaces at the basis which is a finite set has a basis s which is a finite set then It's called call vector space at x, then x is finite dimensional. Okay, this is the consequence of this definition. It is the consequence of this definition. Do you see why? Can anyone tell me why? Why so? If if we have a finite basis, means a, a, a subset with the basis and the set is finite set, then x is finite dimensional. Okay, if you remember, we we uh, we discussed two definitions of basis and we proved that these two definitions are equivalent. Okay, so when we say S is a basis, this means two things happen. S is linearly independent and S is, uh, uh, S spans V, means span of S is V. But you know, span of S is nothing but LS. So uh, set up all linear combinations of S, okay? Set up all linear combinations of the elements of S, finite linear combination. So LS equal to V. Therefore, since uh, since S is finite, therefore S is finite dimensional. Correct? Now let's see the theorem. So, uh, so we have a we have a vector space, say V is a vector space, and V has a basis vector space, and say V has a basis consisting of n elements, n elements, okay? then any set any set e containing more than an element more than an element is linearly dependent okay so so assume you have this set E1, E2, En. This set has n element, and assume this is uh, this is the basis of V. Then you have to prove that any set which has more than n element, okay, is strictly bigger than n element, then that set E is linearly dependent. So suppose E has, so if we prove that it contains n plus one element, then uh, if we prove E is linearly dependent, then we are done, okay? So 
take any set with n plus one element, take v1, v2, vn plus one, this set has n plus one element, okay? Now, uh, our aim is to prove that this set is linearly uh, dependent, correct? And you know, even e2, en is a basis of v, and these are vectors of v, when v2, v, n plus 1 are vectors of v, by definition of basis, every, every vector of v can be represented uniquely as a linear combination of eis. So, these vectors come from V. This means VI can be represented as a linear combination of EI, okay? Correct? Uh, but here, uh, okay, what you do, take this thing, e, VJ equal to alpha J, is it because we have two sets we have two sets uh, e1 e2 en and another set is v1 v2 vn plus 1 here j runs from 1 to n plus 1 okay so so v, vj are uh, so so v1 v2 vn plus these are n plus one vector and they have a, each of them has a unique linear combination. Okay. So far it is okay. Now we want to show that these are, uh, these V1, V2, Vn plus one are linearly dependent. This means we want to prove that there exists a scalar between one beta two beta n plus one not all zero so we want to show that we want to show that there exist beta one beta two beta n plus one in k not all zero such that beta one v one plus beta two v n plus beta n plus one v n plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So you, since, since v i, this v j can be represented uh, as linear combination of e i, you replace v j here by this linear combination. So then you may write, this is beta 1, summation i equal to 1 to n, alpha i j e i, Okay, so this one was alpha i one plus beta n plus one summation i equal to one to n alpha i. So this is n plus one ei. Okay, equal to zero. Correct? Uh, 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 so there is a mistake in the note, please uh, rectify that. So use this there, okay? So I think I, I wrote alpha ej ej like this. So don't uh, write this thing. So, so ei is okay, but, but this, uh, J will be replaced by one and n, n plus one. Okay. So from here, what you get when you multiply it by beta one, beta n plus one, so you will get this is summation uh, i equal to one to n summation j equal to one to n plus one beta beta j alpha ij ej okay and uh, 
this is equal to 0. So we wanted to, to find such beta i which satisfies this thing. Okay. Then you consider you considered the sum beta one plus beta one v one plus so on beta n plus one vn plus one equal to zero. We replace v i v j by this linear combination and we are end with this expression. Now what do you know about E j? Can anyone tell me what we do now? Hello? Hello? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Sir, question repeat. Sir, question repeat. Sir, question repeat. Sir, Sir, question repeat. 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 इसका मतलब है कि हम स्केलर ढूंढ रहे हैं स्केलर ऐसे स्केलर्स ढूंढ रहे हैं बीटा 1 बीटा 2 बीटा एंड प्लस 1 जो दिन में सभी के सब जीरो ना हो मतलब कुछ ऐसे हो जो नॉन जीरो हो ठीक है तो और जो ये एक्सप्रेशन सेटिस्फाई करे मींस बीटा 1 v1 प्लस बीटा 2 v2 एंड सो ऑन बीटा एंड प्लस 1 vn प्लस 1 इक्वल टू 0 ऐसा हो यहां पर सभी बीटा i जीरो ना हो मींस कोई एक ऐसा है जो नॉन जीरो है ओके यहां तक क्लियर था फिर हमने किया ये जो एक्सप्रेशन था इसको कंसीडर किया इसको हमने लिया साथ में और जो भी वी जे है उनकी जगह हमने रिप्लेस कर दिया ये लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन जो कि बेसिस की मदद से आया था जब हम कैलकुलेट कर कैलकुलेशन करते हैं इसको जब मल्टीप्लाई कर देंगे आप अंदर तो हमें ये एक्सप्रेशन मिलता है अब इसके बाद हमें क्या करना चाहिए क्लास चल रही है मैं मामा को दिखाई दे रहा हूं फोन भाई आई बात कर रहे थे कपड़ा कैसे करते हैं अरे बाल नहीं यार इतना अरे कौन कौन है तू करिए भैया अमित अमित अरे अमित अरे मार ना ही पेट में अमित अमित अपने को म्यूट करो हेलो ओके अभी सब ठीक है Yes. Okay. इसके बाद हम क्या कह सकते हैं? बताइए हम हमें ये मालूम है कि e1 is to e n this is a basis. Okay? Is a basis. Correct? We know this is a basis and we know zero can be expressed in this form zero e1 zero e2 zero e n. Okay, and this expression is unique by definition of basis. But we have another expression for zero, which is this thing. So from here, what we get, we get by by the uniqueness of zero, uh, no, by the uniqueness of the linear combination, we get summation j equal to one to n plus one beta j alpha i j equal to zero or you can say you may use other argument second argument is by the definition of basis e1 e2 en is linearly independent therefore this these coefficients are zero correct yes sir okay so what you get you get this thing so let me write it in, in uh, 
uh, in a proper manner. So let me expand this. So this is alpha one one beta one plus alpha one uh, alpha one n plus one beta n plus one equal to zero and so on alpha alpha say n n plus one beta one alpha n n plus one beta n plus one equal to zero so this is the system of linear equation homogeneous system of linear equation in n plus one variable there are total variable are n plus one beta one beta two beta n plus one okay these are unknowns and we have how many equations total equations are hello how many equations do we have n total n, n. 1 n. 2 n okay so n, n is strictly less than n plus 1 Okay, if you remember, I have given you, I had given you an exercise and later I, I gave you a right up, I, a solution of that exercise. Exercise says that if you have a system of M equation in N unknowns where M is less than N, then the system has a non-trivial solution. Do you remember this? Yes, sir. Okay, this means this system, this above system has a non trivial solution. And say that solution is beta 1, beta 2, beta n plus 1 is a non trivial solution. Okay, okay, this implies there exists a non trivial solution. What does it mean by non-trivial solution? Means at least one beta i is non-zero, correct? And and we considered as earlier that beta one v one, beta two v two, beta n plus one v n plus one is zero. So this means v one v two v n plus one is Clearly dependent. dependent. Okay. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Next corollary. So suppose we have a, a set, we have a basis, okay? Uh, we uh, so e one, e two, e n inside v is a basis. Then, then. Uh, e one e two e n is the max is a maximal linear maximal linearly independent set. Okay. So what does it mean? It mean but so what does it mean? It it means if we have any set S of, so which is a subset of V and E1, E2, EN is a proper subset of S, then S is linearly independent. Then S is linearly dependent, dependent. Okay, so how do we, so this, so since, 
since this set e1 e2 en is a proper subset of s this means there exists v in s minus e1 e2 en so there exists a vector which is in s but not in e1 e2 en now consider v e1 e2 en and use the above theorem so here you are getting n plus 1 vector okay from the above theorem you get this set is linearly dependent this means s is linearly dependent okay correct yes sir okay so now uh, another interesting theorem Oh, we have only seven minutes. Okay. So, uh, next term check is suppose we have a vector space. We have the basis of this vector space V, and basis has n elements in it. Okay. Assume v has basis containing n elements okay so then the conclusion is if we take any other subset of v which contains an element and the set is linearly independent, then it becomes a basis. Then any linearly independent set of n vectors in V. is a basis of V. So you see where we are heading to, we are heading to prove that if we take two bases of a vector space, actually they have same number of elements. Okay, the cardinality is same. Their vectors are different, but cardinality is same. So our aim is to prove this. So we will use this. Okay, let's do. Here, how, how do we prove this? So, so what needs to be proved? Any suggestion? Okay, first take a basis, say S is E1, E2, En. This is the basis of V, and surely it contains an element. Now take another, another set, okay? Uh, uh, of uh, another set of n vectors linearly independent set then prove that it is uh, uh, it is a basis uh, it is a it is a basis so now take take another set b and call it v1 v2 vn okay correct and by from the assumption, this is linearly independent. B let this be linearly independent set. We have to show that this B is a basis. This means we have to show that LB equal to B or, or what you say span of B 
is V. Okay, so it is linearly independent, it is given, and if we prove that span of V is V, we are done. Okay, these two gives that LV equal to V and the, the that every vector uh, has a unique linear combination of EIs, okay, uh, VIs. It will give this. So let's see how we will do this. Okay, take any vector, take any vector V in V, take any vector V in V, then consider this set and consider V, V1, V2, Vn, this set, okay? This set has how many elements? Hello? Hello? Am I audible? Please, when I say, when I ask something, please respond. But how many elements are there in this set? N plus one element. N plus one element. And we have just proven that if a vector space has a basis with n elements, then any set with n plus one elements is linearly dependent. Okay? So this means, okay, let me write it in this way. Since V, V1, V2, Vn has n plus one elements, Therefore, it is linearly dependent, okay? This means there exist scalars, alpha naught, alpha one, alpha n, in R, not all zero. This is very crucial, not all zero, such that alpha naught V plus alpha one V one plus alpha and vn equal to zero. Suppose, and now what we prove, now our claim is, alpha naught is non-zero. We want to say that alpha naught is non-zero. Okay, how do we prove this? Assume that alpha naught is zero. If alpha naught is zero, what we will get, we will left with this thing alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus alpha and vn is 0, correct? So how do you confer from the, this, this thing? Uh, so what do you infer from here? Do you see that this v1, v2, vn was a linearly dependent set? Correct? If, if, since, since, V1, V2, Vn is linearly independent. This means, what does it imply? Please tell anyone. Koi bolo kya yahan se kya milega? Hello. क्या मैं मेरी आवाज आप तक पहुंच रही है मैंने पूछा है कोई एक क्वेश्चन हमें मालूम है कि v1 v2 vn लीनियर इंडिपेंडेंट है और ये लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन जीरो है यहां से हम क्या कंक्लूड uh, करेंगे हेलो सर एक्सप्रेशन यूनिक होगा what is the definition of independent thing? Independent set. Ek minute. Main aap log ko ye cheez bahut achhe se samjhana chahta hu ki jo ye linear algebra course hai, agar aap mein se kuch log net exam dene ja rahe hain, okay? Next semester ke baad, 
तो ये बहुत बड़ी हेल्प करेगा आपको वहां पर आप देखेंगे लीनियर एल्जेब्रा से भरा पड़ा होगा आपका नेट का एग्जाम पेपर अगर आप ये अच्छे से सीखेंगे तो वो क्लियर कर पाएंगे तो प्लीज पढ़िए इसको क्या कोई मुझे बताएगा इसके बाद हम क्या 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 यहाँ से डिड्यूस करेंगे क्या मिलेगा हमको हेलो अनुज कुमार अनुज कुमार आप सुन रहे हैं मुझे शायद वो ज्वाइन चले गए हाँ यहाँ से क्या मिलेगा बताइए एक सेट है जो लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट है और उसका लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन में जीरो के फॉर्म लिख रहा हूँ तो यहाँ से मुझे क्या मिलेगा अल्फा नॉट यहाँ से जीरो नहीं होगा क्यों जो हमने सपोज करा तो ये सर एल आई हो गया ना यहाँ से वी वन वी टू वी एन तो अल्फा नॉट अरे तो भैया वो तो मैं एज्यूम कर रहा हूँ कि जीरो है तो इससे मुझे क्या मिलेगा के एम मुस्कान 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 चली गई लग रहा है यहाँ पर yes, करके वो चली गई yes, मुस्कान हाँ इसके बाद हमको क्या मिलेगा बताइए क्या आपको मालूम है no, सभा सर्वर हाँ yes, हमको क्या मिलना चाहिए इसके बाद बताइए आपको मालूम है हाँ या नहीं नो सर ठीक है कोई बात नहीं बताता हूँ पंचशील यस सर हाँ क्या यहाँ से क्या आप कंक्लूड करते हैं अच्छा लिखकर इंडिपेंडेंट सेट की डेफिनेशन क्या होता है एक सेट है है इंडिपेंडेंट इसकी डेफिनेशन क्या होनी चाहिए क्या कैसे पता करेंगे कि ये लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट है क्या आपको लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट की डेफिनेशन पता है नहीं सर नहीं आ, आपने ये पहली बार कब पढ़ा था ये पता है कौन सी क्लास में पहली बार पढ़ा था पंचशील सर सर बी एस सी में पढ़े थे सर भूल गए बी एस सी फर्स्ट ईयर सेकेंड ईयर में पढ़ा था उसके बाद मैंने भी बताया है ओके कोई नहीं निहा निहा यस सर यस सर निहा क्या आपको मालूम है लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट की डेफिनेशन सर इसमें ऐसा हो सकता है कि उसमें एग्जैक्ट एन सोल्यूशन मिल, मिलेंगे तो मुझे तो यही लग रहा है बाकी नहीं पता सर अच्छा क्या आप क्लास के बाद रोज ये कोर्स की मतलब खत्म होने के बाद पढ़ाई करती हैं आप में कितने लोगों को नेट एग्जाम देना है इस बार कोई बताइए अपना नाम लेके कि उसको नेट एग्जाम देना है आप में से किसी ने नहीं देना नेट एग्जाम अनुराग यस आपको नेट एग्जाम देना है इस बार नहीं सर मैं बीएड करके आया हूं तो इसलिए हायर एजुकेशन में मुझे प्रॉब्लम हो रही है सर क्योंकि दो साल का ब्रेक आ गया मेरे उसमें ऐसे तो बहुत लोग होते हैं ना बी बीएड करने के बाद सर लेकिन कुछ कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं क्लियर हो पाते ना तो इसलिए सर मुझे नहीं लग रहा कि नेट के लिए अप्रोच मैं कर पा रहा हूँ अब ओके okay. मुस्कान क्या आप नेट के लिए प्रिपेयर कर रही हैं 
उसका मुस्तान गायब है यस सर क्या आप नेट के लिए पढ़ाई कर रही हैं मिस आप के देने वाले हैं यस सर अच्छा तो आपको मालूम है नेट के एग्जाम बहुत सर बहुत बड़ा पोर्शन डिनर एल्जेब्रा का होता है यस सर तो उसके लिए तैयारी कर रही हैं नहीं सर कोशिश पूरी कर रहे हैं सर बहुत कौन से okay. नहीं पढ़ना पढ़ना तो 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 आपको चार पांच बार भी पढ़ना पड़ेगा तो पढ़ना चाहिए ना यस सर हाँ तो ये लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन है इसका सम जीरो है तो और जो जो इसमें स्केलर स्केलर स्टम्स होंगे वो भी किसी इक्वल टू अल्फा जीरो हां अगर इफ इफ दिस इज जीरो दिस इंप्लाइज अल्फा 1 इक्वल टू अल्फा 2 इक्वल टू अल्फा एंड दीज आर ऑल जीरो सो दिस इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट अब यहां से मैंने ऊपर ये पूछा था क्योंकि ये सब लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट है और ये लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन जीरो है तो ये यहां से क्या क्या कंक्लूड करोगे एक्चुअली पता है बीच में क्लास चल रही तो आ, आपकी वॉइस बिल्कुल नहीं आती थी तो ऑडियो को थोड़ा बहुत बहुत दिक्कत होती थी समझने में तो ये था कि रिकॉर्डिंग देख के नोट्स के थ्रो लिख लेते थे तो ज्यादा आपके मतलब क्लियर आज की आवाज ज्यादा आ रही है ऐसे से पहले आज तक आवाज ही नहीं आती थी अच्छा तो यहाँ पर बताइए अभी 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 क्या लिखूंगा मैं इसके बाद अल्फा वन वी वन अल्फा टू वी टू अल्फा एन वी एन जीरो है और वी वन वी टू वी एन लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट है तो अभी आपने सही आंसर दिया तो यहाँ जो अल्फा वन इज इक्वल टू अल्फा टू अल्फा एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो हाँ बहुत बढ़िया तो अल्फा वन इक्वल टू जीरो अल्फा टू इक्वल टू जीरो और साथ साथ अल्फा एन भी जीरो हो जाएगा इज इक्वल टू जीरो हाँ तो यहाँ पर जब अल्फा नॉट जीरो है तो सारे अल्फा आई जीरो है लेकिन हमने यहाँ क्या लिखा था नो नो यहाँ पर क्या लिखा था इनमें से कम से कम एक नॉन जीरो होगा नॉट ऑल जीरो लिखा ना सारे नॉन यस सर जीरो नहीं है सो दिस मीन दिस फोर्स टेक अल्फा नॉट नॉन जीरो It is a dependent. Ah, uh, we are forced to conclude that alpha naught is non-zero. So when alpha naught is non-zero, so we have alpha naught v equal to. In sab ko ap do side lijiye. Minus alpha one v one plus. Sorry. Plus alpha one v one plus plus alpha n v n. Correct. This implies v yes, equal to minus alpha naught inverse alpha one v one alpha n v n. Okay. Now multiply. So this is alpha naught inverse alpha one v one alpha naught inverse alpha n v n. So uh, is it okay? So this yes, sir. V can be represented as a linear combination of V I. So V belongs to L S. Uh, uh, no L L B. V belongs to L B. Okay, let me write L of V one V two V N. And and this is a subset of V. So from a V was arbitrary. This element since V. Is arbitrary. This implies V is subset of L of V one, V two, V n, and which is subset of V. This implies V equal to L of V one, V two, V n. We are done. The span of this set is D, and V one, V two, V n is linearly independent. Therefore. Uh, this linear combination will be unique okay how suppose we have two different linear combinations say like this this implies summation alpha i minus beta i bi 
zero. And from here, we will get as V1, V2, Vn is linear independent, we will get F i minus V i equal to zero for all i, one to n. Alpha is equal to beta i. Alpha is equal to beta i. Therefore, this expression is unique and yes, V1, V2, Vn is a basis. Basis. And we are done. Okay. So uh, next, there is. Uh, uh, okay, I'll stop here. So we are of running out of time. We stop here. So any question, doubt? If there is no question, no doubt, or no comment, then I stop here. On, uh, on Monday. Okay then, bye. I'll drop your attendance, okay? And one more thing, uh, since I'm using my network and I am running out of my data, it will be very difficult to send you the video, recorded videos. So it is recorded. So when the university open, I will upload that time, okay? I will try to Professor. make. Uh -huh. Hello. Sir, call send can Kal kaise send karunga? Kal mujhe mera bhi kam hai. Main kahin dusra jagah talk karna hai, na? Okay, sir. So, dekhta hoon. Kuch kar paunga to. Ek link iske mein share karne ki koshish karunga. Dekhi aap log webex se usko download kar paate hain ya nahi kar paate hain. ठीक है वेबएक्स में डायरेक्ट लिंक मिलता है चेक करते हैं कि वो हो रहा नहीं होगा काम कर रहा नहीं कर रहा थैंक यू सर ओके सर बाय